Hello and welcome to FF Live. I'm Tyler Cading along with Thomas Mercurio and Hayden Matthews. We're talking about the best players to have for your fantasy football team this upcoming season. We're going to start with quarterbacks. Who's the number one quarterback in fantasy football this year, guys? Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, feel like that's, I feel like that's the consensus there, Aaron Rodgers, obviously. I have, I have Brady with I have Brady as the number two. He has the um, greatest supporting cast of any quarterback in football. What do you think? Um, I think it's Matt Ryan because he's got Ju Julio Jones um, with him, and Julio Jones can do anything against any cornerback, so uh, Matt Ryan can throw to him. And he really thrived with those guys last year, and that two running back system, they can spread out the offense really well. What's funny is I don't have any of those guys in my top three. I think Brady in your top have, three. Yeah, I don't. I think they're both gonna have not great years, and I gotta go with Derek Carr. He just signed the. He's just signed that big deal. He's got an up and coming offense. They just got beast mode, so the running game is actually a threat now in Oakland. And I think that they're, they're gonna have a really good year, and Derek Carr is gonna be the head of that. I'm just scared of him coming off injury and Matt Ryan with the coaching change. I mean, there's no guarantee Carr's gonna come back and be the same player. Oh yeah, but that's the, I mean, that's the, but that's he, the big he's, risk. He's got Cooper and Crabtree, and now yeah. he's got he has a Marshawn great cast. Lynch. Yeah, he has yeah. a great cast. He's got. Yeah. Okay, number number three. What do you got for third best quarterback in fantasy this year for you? For you have? Um, I got Brady because yeah. just the supporting cast. Okay. Brady. Gronk, I, I think I agree with you here. I think Hayden. I have Andrew Luck. Yeah. And then my. My sleeper is, well, first off, I want to say, don't draft any Saints. I, You saw Drew Brees kind of drop off at the end of last year. He was on my fantasy team. And then he, he loses started, Brandon he Cooks. Struggle. And then he loses Brandon Cooks. And then Cooks. he lost Brandon Cooks. I don't want you drafting any Saints. They're not going to be good. My sleeper's got to be Ryan Tannehill. If Devontae Parker can stay healthy, he's got one of the best slot wide receivers, uh, Jarvis Landry. And with Jay Ajahi back there, and he's earned his name as one of the top running backs. I think he can be a really quality guy. And I think he can help lead Miami back to the playoffs. Okay, sleeper pick. Sleeper um, sleeper quarterback. Um, I don't know. What, what about you? I got Winston. Um, I like Tannehill a lot. And I'm not positive in his fantasy value, just for the fact I'm not a yeah. not all that high in Jarvis Landry. Um, Jameis Winston now has he has a top he has a top at least top five wide receiver in the game. That's undisputable. Mike Evans adds. Um, adds O.J. Howard on top of Cameron Bright, and that's the best two tight end duo in the league. It's really not even all that close. So if you look at Jameis Winston's weapons, assuming Doug Martin and they can get a running back there to um, keep the offense diverse, he's going to have a great year this year, and I think he's going to be possibly even a top five fantasy quarterback. That's what, that's what I was going to say. Running backs to go crew quickly. Uh, I feel like I feel like there's a relative consensus yeah, among the top three. three. It's going to be Zeke, Le'Veon, and David Johnson. Are you guys, do you agree? Yeah, uh, I think Le'Veon Bell's going to have the best year. This yeah. year, it's got the best offensive line. I think David Johnson is going to drop off because teams have to expect him to just constantly get the ball. So it, it won't be that difficult to scheme against the Cardinals, but he's David Johnson, so that's pretty... Oh, she was pretty good. But my sleeper, you started to bring him on. He's a Notre Dame guy and CJ Procise for Seattle. That's a good one. Because he can do everything. He's like a less known version of David Johnson. He can catch, he can run, he's got good speed, he's got good power. And I think with all, all the threats and Russell Wilson running and Russell Wilson's passing ability with Doug Baldwin and Tyler Lockett and Jimmy Graham now, uh, I think he can have a pretty good year. Yeah, he's a well, sleeper. Um, well, I, I'm just going to go back to the Bell and Zeke uh, battle at the top. I think Bell um, definitely has it in PPR leagues because he gets those receptions. Mm -hmm. Zeke is more of a like, running guy, and I don't know if we can expect to see what we saw from Zeke last year, so I think Bell's at the top there. What about your I, sleeper? I, I, if it's that much of a sleeper, I'm not sure, but DeMarco Murray's going to be a top five. Top five. I have him at the number four for me right now. He is second best offensive line in football at Tennessee. Tennessee's offensive line is not, yeah. not even all that fair. Yeah. Um, Tennessee's going to be really good. I mean, most people have him as a top 10, but I think he's going to be higher than most what most people think about him. Wide receiver, there's really only five or six big guys. Um, who do you have as your top three? Uh, Antonio Brown, Amari Cooper, and Mike Evans. I, I agree with Brown and Evans. I have Odell in there. Just for the fact that Odell makes all the, all the crazy yeah. plays. I don't trust Eli Manning at all. Yeah, they, but, they have a lot of wide receivers. That's why I didn't put him on there because he might be. Well, there. I think Julio Jones is still going to stay up there. Like, even if he's the main feature guy, he can um, – get most of the catches. And for, for a sleeper, I mean, yes, you could say a couple of these guys. The Bears aren't going to be as bad as people think. Mike, Lennon's no, a, a, Mike Lennon is a good quarterback. Don't good don't kid yourself. Too. You actually watched him back when he played in Tampa. Cameron Meredith, if he could stay on the field as that number one, showed signs of life last year with God knows who at quarterback. I think he's going to have a decent year. Obviously, injury concerns are a problem as the Bears always seem to get hurt, but mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Cameron Meredith as a sleeper. Thomas, who's your sleeper wide receiver? Um, I got, uh, 
Uh, I think Brandon Cooks would be pretty <coughs> solid for New England because, uh, like, even though New England has more targets than uh, New Orleans really did, I think uh, Tom Brady will really embrace having him on his team. I'm going through tight ends, last skill position. Well, no, um, I, my sleeper oh, yeah, for wide receiver. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. Right. Uh, my sleeper is Devontae Parker. I yeah. really like Miami this year, and I think uh, Jarvis Landry is going to eat up all the short games. Parker will eat up all the long games, and if Ryan Tannehill can stay on the field along with Devontae Parker, if they can all stay on the field. I think I really like Miami. All right, tight ends run through really quickly. Last skill position. Rob Gronkowski, if he can stay healthy, I feel like he's number one. Sorry. Has to be number one. What do you think? Um, I actually think Greg Olson will continue to be number one. He's a great target. And then uh, Martellus Bennett will do well uh, with the Packers as Aaron Rodgers loves his tight ends. Yeah, and Bennett's, Bennett's a guy that everyone's sleeping on. I don't have him top three, but I have him right outside top three. I have Olson and Graham yeah. finishing out the top three because I think Russell Wilson's a lot better quarterback than people give credit for. Yeah, uh, I agree. I agree with Martellus Bennett. going to have a good year. Uh, mine goes Gronk, Kelsey, and Graham. I think Travis Kelsey is really the only guy that Alex Smith wants to throw it to there. Yeah, he'll so, take it. Um, so he's, he's going to get the majority of the targets in Kansas City, so I think it's going to be Travis Kelsey. All right, that's going to wrap it up here for FF Live. For Thomas Mercurio and Hayden Matthews, I'm Tyler Cading. Good night.